guys, this is a quick video on how to tell if your motor is fried or not. Okay, so here we have this one motor and the quickest, easiest way to check is to simply look through the openings of your motor and check the windings and you can see here, this section here, this, these windings are black, they're fried, this motor's no good. What was interesting is when I first uh, realized there's something wrong with my quad is it just dropped out of the sky and so when I looked at it, I thought, oh, crap, maybe it's the flight controller, there's some loose wiring, I fried something else besides the motor, could have been the ESC, for example, right? But when you just look at the uh, windings here, it was obvious to me that it was the motor. So, okay, I could, you know, replace that motor. I don't have to worry about something else that might be a little bit more of a pain or maybe more expensive to replace. All right, this other motor here is a little bit different in that the windings really look good, okay? But when I was looking at it a little bit closer, I noticed there's this little magnet, okay? So the magnet fell out of the, uh, the motor, and so when I pull this off here, the top part here, you're going to see these motors that surround the rotor part of the motor, and you'll see there's one spot here where that motor or magnet dropped off, and there's also another magnet here that has moved the position. So this motor is fried, even though the windings look good. Now, of course, another thing that you want to check for is just to simply spin the motor around just to see if it's moving smoothly. If it's a little notchy, then that might be an indication that it's going bad or is bad. But I do have motors that work fine, even though they might be a little bit notchy when you rotate them. All right, so hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thanks. Bye.